Jesus, a big hand of praise and please be seated. Praise God, fortune is my portion in 2024. We'll rise shortly to commence our intercessory prayers this morning with this prayer line. Father, we clear every barrier standing in the way of the ingathering of record breaking multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Your amen can be stronger. In Psalm chapter 24 and verse 7, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Please join me this morning and rise on your feet as we begin to engage, saying, Father, we clear every barrier standing in the way of the ingathering of record-breaking multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Lift up your voice and let the Lord hear your voice of intercession this morning. Our Father, we clear every barrier standing in the way of the ingathering of record-breaking multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Lift up your voice this morning and let the Lord hear your voice of intercession. Oh Lord God. All the money gang up, all barrier, all satanic manipulation, standing in the way of the ingathering of this church. We clear you up all through in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying this morning that all satanic barrier, all demonic barrier, all human barriers, Standing in the way of the ingathering of record breaking multitudes into this church, be cleared off. If even this coming Sunday, lift up your voice, pray some more, let the Lord hear your voice of intercession. Our Father, this is a heart cry this morning. The all satanic gate, all satanic imagination and orchestration from the pit of hell standing in the way of the ingathering of record-breaking multitudes. We clear you off. We destroy you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. O oh Lord, we ask that all satanic gates all satanic manipulation standing on the way of the ingathering of record breaking and abiding multitudes into this church this coming Sunday be cleared off 
be cleared off. Give way right now. Lift up your heads, O ye gate, and be ye lifted up. Ye everlasting door, that the King of glory might come in. Someone is praying right now, asking that every satanic gate, all demonic garrier standing on the way of the ingathering be destroyed. Lift up your voice and take a warfare position this morning and pray some more. Our Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we declare every barrier standing in the way of the ingathering of record-breaking multitudes into this church this coming Sunday in the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have done it before. You will yet do it again and again and again. Oh Lord God, clear them off, clear them off, clear them off that indeed your house may be full in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying right now in the Holy Ghost. Ando she pota la pota liakita e no shanta re kotora dia she taliaki ne roshaliagi e godoro do shanti ane tosa proda e kotora na shintani ano setia zeno sabada ane sota rika to shantana ba ne to la pradi ge zozozina e no shati ane to rati a she taraba boroto shantani ato prande. Now lift up your hands, lift up your voice, appreciate him this morning. Give him glory, give him honor, because it is done in Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Be seated, give Jesus a big hand of praise. Now while again we shall be rising up to pray. And when we rise, we shall pray in this manner, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of fresh and life-transforming world in all our services, thereby sustaining the supernatural growth of this church. Psalm 23, verse 2. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. In the light of this scripture, let's rise. As we pray with passion, with zest, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of fresh and life-transforming word in all our services, thereby sustaining the supernatural growth of this church. Let the Lord hear your intercession this morning as you engage your heart to pray with faith, with strength, with fervency, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of fresh and life transforming world in all our services, thereby sustaining the supernatural growth of this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of fresh and life transforming world in all our services, thereby sustaining the supernatural growth of this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of fresh and life-transforming world in all our services, thereby sustaining the supernatural growth of this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of fresh and life-transforming world in all our services, thereby sustaining the supernatural growth of this church, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of fresh and life-transforming world in all our services, thereby sustaining the supernatural growth of this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of fresh and life-transforming world in all our services, thereby sustaining the supernatural growth of this church in all our services, Lord, the release of fresh and life-transforming world. Say, but we all with open face, beholding him as in a glass, we are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by 
the spirit of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of fresh and life-transforming word in all our services, thereby sustaining the supernatural growth of this church. Uh, say he sent his word. Uh, Lord, uh, keep sending uh, your fresh and life transforming word. Keep releasing uh, your fresh and life transforming word in all our services, thereby sustaining the supernatural growth of this church uh, in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord uh, hear you expressively engage uh, your heart in praying this prayer through by pressing on, uh, even in the Holy Ghost. Uh, Catala, Eros Otoliana, Ratata le Copalanto Liata, Eros Atalianosa. Say we shall decree it in and it shall be established. We stand on the authority of your word. Decree, Lord, the release of fresh and life transforming word in all our services, thereby sustaining the supernatural growth. Of this church, Mano Satala Balagada, give him thanks, give him glory for answers to our prayers this morning. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we are prayed. Let's celebrate Jesus with the clap as we have our sins in God's presence. We're continuing in prayer this morning. This time we're saying, Father, silence every evil counselor manipulating our new converts from being established in this church, and let it be evident in our services this coming Sunday. Exodus chapter 11 and verse 1, And the Lord said unto Moses, Yet will I bring one more plague upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. Afterwards it will let you go hence. When it shall let you go, it shall surely trust you out hence altogether. With that assurance, can we please rise and begin to pray? We're saying, Father, Silence every evil counselor manipulating our new converts from being established in this church and let it be evident in our services this coming Sunday. Lord, every evil talker, every vain deceiver, Lord God, every evil counselor manipulating our new converts from being established in this church, Lord, silence them in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Silence them, Lord, and let that silencing be quite evident, Lord, in the attendance in all our services this coming Sunday, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your people come, Lord God, willingly, Lord. Every restraint removed, Jesus, Lord, every idle talker, every vain talker, Lord, attempting to dissuade them from being established in this place of rest, Lord God. Silence them, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, make their knowledge foolish. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, confirm the word of your servants, perform the counsel of your messenger. Lord, everyone, Lord God, inclined to come, Lord God, let none be able to hold them back. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, make their knowledge foolish, silence them completely, Lord. Every evil talker, Lord, every vain deceiver, Lord, attempting to dissuade your people, from coming to the place of their rest, Lord, from coming to the place of their blessing, silence them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that silencing be evident, Lord God, in the attendance in all our services this coming Sunday and in the display of power in the mighty name of Jesus. Silence every evil talker, every evil counselor, every manipulator, every vain deceiver, Lord, attempting to dissuade your people, Lord God, from being established in this church. Lord, let that silence be evident. Let it be clear to all that you are at work, Lord, you have engaged against them, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, in all of our services, this coming Sunday, Lord, your mighty hand going out, Lord, 
You're making a quick and a short work of them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, silence every evil talker, every manipulator, every evil counselor, Lord, how to dissuade our converts from being established in this church. Lord, let that work be evident, Lord, in the attendance this coming Sunday, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer with all intensity. Pray with all sincerity of heart. Cry unto God. Father, silence every evil counselor, manipulating a new convert from being established in this church. Let that silencing be evident, Lord. Lord, by the attendance in all of our services this coming Sunday, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray in your understanding. Pray in the spirit as well. And show your voices. Be now. Don't look around. Focus on God. Rekaporo mashida. Elia kantara rabase. Le kandari kama sheria. Hiri rabasara kalaba. Handara babase li bashiria. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, silence every evil counselor manipulating our converts from being established in this church. Let it be evident, Lord, in the attendance in all of our services, Lord, and the display of power this coming Sunday in the mighty name of Jesus. Now let's bring our prayer to a close with thanksgiving. As we have asked, that's what we will receive. They will be silenced. God himself will be out against them in the mighty name of Jesus. It will silence every contention. It will put them down in the mighty name of Jesus. And God's people will come in their numbers. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Father, for your work is mightily in display. We bless your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please put your hands together and take your seat. We are going to be rising up to pray next, and this shall be our prayer line. We will say, Father, let the spirit of love be poured out afresh upon every winner to continue to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant. Galatians chapter 6, verse 10, as we have a, therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Please, let's rise up. Now, feet, and let's begin to pray this prayer. Father, let the spirit of love be poured out afresh upon every winner to continue to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant. Lift your voice and now begin to pray. Father, let the spirit of love be poured out afresh upon every winner to continue to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant. Lift your voice and pray. Father, let the spirit of love be poured out afresh upon every one winner to continue to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant. Lift your voice and pray and engage intensely. Make sure you are very deliberate in this prayer. Make it a prayer of faith. Engaging spiritually. Say, Father. Let the spirit of love be poured out afresh. We call on our God. Let the spirit of God release. Cause the love of God to be shed abroad in our heart. The love of God that gives. For God so love and he gave. We are calling for that spirit of love that is without dissimulation. No pretense. Father in the name of Jesus. Let that spirit of love. Be poured out afresh upon every winner to continue to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant. Lift your voice and pray. Father, let the spirit of love be poured out afresh upon every winner to continue to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant. Having granted us opportunity by the common word of God's blessing. That's why for a portion unto us, you say you are blessed to be a blessing. Father, in the name of Jesus, cause every one of us to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant. Let the spirit of love be poured out afresh upon every winner to continue to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant. Father, let the spirit of love be poured out afresh 
let it be released unto everyone winner so that we engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant, God's kind of love that gives. God's kind of love that will not begin to look at another member without food. Father, let us in spirit of love. He is so love and he gave. Let us spirit of love be poured afresh. Let it be shed abroad in our heart that every one winner, male, female, younger, no, whatever our age or economic status, can continue to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant, in obedience to your word. Let us do good to all men, but especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Lift your voice and pray this prayer so that it can cause a change and bring a revival. Father, in the name of Jesus, let us spirit of love let it be poured out afresh upon every winner so that they can continue to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant. Father, let the spirit of law be poured out afresh upon every one winner to continue to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant. Chadola pia. Let that spirit be poured afresh on every one winner that they continue to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant. Thank you, mighty God. Blessed be thy holy name. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Let's put our hands together for Jesus and please be seated. Again, this morning we shall be praying, and this time we shall be saying, Father, by the mighty rush, by the mighty rush wind of the Holy Ghost, compel the ingathering of unprecedented multitude into this church this coming Sunday. Acts 2, 2 and 6. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of mighty rushing wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And now, when this was noised abroad, multitude came together. Shall we rise on our feet, lift our voice unto the Father right now, say, Father, by the mighty rushing wind of the Holy Ghost, compel the ingathering of unprecedented multitude into this church this coming Sunday. Is someone praying that prayer with me this morning? Lift your voice. Let's pray together. Father, by the mighty rushing wind of the Holy Ghost, compel the ingathering of unprecedented multitude into this church this coming Sunday in the name of Jesus Christ. Suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of the rushing mighty wind and the place a field. Father, we ask for the same experience this coming Sunday. We ask, O oh Lord, for the same experience, the same testimonies this coming Sunday. O oh God, Father, by the mighty rushing wind of the Holy Ghost, compel the ingathering of unprecedented multitude into this church this coming Sunday. In the name of Jesus, by the mighty rushing wind of the Holy Ghost, compel the ingathering of unprecedented multitude into this church this coming Sunday. In the name of Jesus, the same kind of wind that brought quick from the sea. Oh God, we ask that in the name of Jesus, let the wind of the Holy Ghost go round the town, Lagos altar, and its environment. Let it bring multitude, multitude, unprecedented and abiding multitude into this church this coming Sunday. In the name of of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost whistle, whistle at multitude. Let them come from everywhere, from everywhere, from everywhere. In the name of Jesus, rushing in, rushing in this coming Sunday. All road leads to Canaan this coming Sunday. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray by the mighty rushing wind of the Holy Ghost, compel the ingathering of unprecedented multitude into this church 
this coming Sunday. Don't matter what this morning, let's pray together with faith. Let's pray with faith, with passion in our heart, with zeal and zeal this morning. Let's call on him and he will answer us this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the mighty rushing wind of the Holy Ghost, we pray that you compel in gathering of unprecedented multitude into this church this coming Sunday, in the name of Jesus, we ask right now, let the reaper angels go around the city, the town, the amulet, everywhere, bringing in multitude, bringing in multitude, leading them to the church this coming Sunday. Those that need to be on the windows that need to be back to the church this coming Sunday. Let them come from everywhere, from everywhere. The mighty rushing wind at work right now, bringing in multitude, unprecedented multitude into this church this coming Sunday in the name of Jesus. Bringing in multitude this coming Sunday. Let's push this prayer in the Holy Ghost right now. Let's push this prayer in the Holy Ghost right now. Le paria ke tagi, le kato maria ke zabralaka. Ye ke tagi gara bralia do zozalea ke te. Le paria no zozalea baraka tale grele ke zozalea. Le ano bara ye a ke tagi sozia. Le bara ke tale ano rabara te ke kale kara lo zozia ke a rabaria lo no zozalea. Le brane na to bralia ta zabralia ta ra. Le bralia mighty rushing wind of the Holy Ghost compelling unprecedented and abiding multitude into the service this coming Sunday in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus mighty rushing wind of the Holy Ghost compare in gathering of unprecedented and abiding multitude father we thank you let's celebrate him he has answered us again father we give you all the glory and honor in Jesus wonderful name we have prayed. please put your hands together for Jesus and be seated The moment we're going to go before the Lord in prayer, and this time we have the opportunity to present our personal supplications to Him. And as we do that today, we are reminded of God's word in the book of James, chapter 4, and verse 2. He said, You have not because you ask not. This morning, as you go before Him asking, He will deliver your answers in the name of Jesus. Somebody believe, say loud, Amen. Therefore, take any position right now that will help you focus on the altar of prayer. And go before the Lord, remember that it's an opportunity to engage in the advancement of the kingdom, particularly as it concerns your target in this season. Lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart.
Now lift your hand, lift your voice, and let's begin to give thanks unto God this morning. I appreciate him from the depth of your heart. Father, we thank you, we bless you, we glorify your name. Thank him for the answers. Thank him for the answers that he has given to you this morning. I appreciate him and glorify his name. Celebrate him, he's worthy of all the praise, he's worthy of all the glory, he's worthy of all the honor. Father, we say thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Somebody believe, say a loud amen. Give Jesus a big hand and please be seated. In this service this morning, it is testimony time. Please listen to the following documented testimonies and you shall follow shortly in Jesus' name. Number one. Miracle conception and delivery. <laughs> Hallelujah. During the 2014 Easter Sunday service, a woman shared her testimony on how God blessed her with the fruit of the womb the previous year. She said that while the bishop was ministering at the 2013 Easter Sunday service, he said that Easter goes beyond Sunday and Monday. This was because Jesus visited his people with many infallible proofs 40 days after his resurrection. Thereafter, the bishop admonished the congregation to be expectant for similar encounters. She said she prayed and was expectant. And on the third eighth day, Jesus visited her and she conceived. <laughs> Hallelujah. When the bishop was preaching, at the 2014 Easter Sunday service, he reaffirmed that position and quoted from Acts chapter 1, verse 3. When I heard that scripture, the Holy Spirit instructed me to be expectant like that woman and that I should drink the anointing oil for the period of those 40 days. I obeyed. To the glory of God, the pregnancy test showed that I became pregnant on the seventh day. Let's celebrate Jesus. And God sustained the pregnancy and gave us a bouncing baby boy. And the test testifier is a Hizogie, a mobile landlady. For this testimony, put your hands together for Jesus. And number two, supernatural breakthrough via kingdom advancement endeavors. Despite being jobless for four years, I kept engaging with every prophetic word from God's servant. In declaring the kingdom operation for the hour, Papa kept saying that our enviable breakthrough is finally here. He kept on saying that there are giants here that don't look like it, and I, I always fit that description. So I engaged with a word in my heart that since it is a must to pray, a must to go, a must to bring and nurture, then my breakthrough must be a must. During the business breakthrough service, the Lord gave me a soul who came along with me to the Sunday service. Since then, I have been engaging in praying, in paying the transportation fare of challenged converts and nurturing a few, even though I didn't have a steady income. Miraculously, I got a call for an interview, men and brethren. Two days later, I was called to resume at the company for a position I'm not qualified for. You can make it bigger for Jesus. Hallelujah. As I write this testimony, I am the general manager of the company with an official car plus a six-figure salary to match. I never wrote jump, but I am now the boss over people with degrees. I that used to be jobless and a subject of mockery is now an employer of labor. Celebrate Jesus. <laughs> Serving God can truly turn any dummy to a high flyer. Matthew 6.33 qualifies you for any position on earth. And the testifier is a similar. 
for this testimony, please let's rise to our feet and let's celebrate the doer this morning. Put your hands together for Jesus. Make it loud and bigger. Again, for those testimonies, lift up your hands and your voice to heaven. Give God praise. Give him glory. Appreciate him for his mighty doings in our midst. Our Father, we are grateful. For answers to prayers this morning, let's celebrate God. He has heard us. To him be the praise, the glory, and the honor. Our Father, we thank you. Now, ask God to see you this morning. My Father, my heart is set. I'm in your presence. Visit with me. I want to hear your voice. Give me an encounter of a lifetime. Visit me this morning like never before. Thank you, mighty God. To you be the praise and glory. In Jesus' holy name, we are prayed. Our Father, this morning, we thank you for the privilege to appear before your presence. This morning, visit with us. We have come to hear you. Help us to hear your voice. And let your voice turn us around for a better encounter. Thank you, mighty God. Holy Spirit, do what only you can do in our midst again this morning. And let Jesus alone be glorified. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Put your blessings together for Jesus and please be seated. I want to appreciate God the Father for this awesome privilege and my Father for this opportunity to bring us briefly the exhortation for this morning. I'm grateful, sir. Our exhortation online for Covenant Hour Prayer since Monday has been one genuine encounter with God is worth more than a lifetime of struggles. One genuine encounter with God. Life is not meant for struggles. That's why God seeks for ways to reach his children. There are too many things to make life struggle, but God has provided a way, and that's his own way. Encounters. Life is never meant for struggles. God, who has ordained life, has ordained it for us to go smoothly. But encounters with God will cause each of us to put struggle aside and enjoy smooth ride. And what a privilege. The season that we are in now is the season of God appearing to us. Acts chapter 1, at verse 3. The Bible talks, God appeared to us 40 days with many undeniable proofs, tangible testimonies to show. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them 40 days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. God is appearing to us. May he appear to each of us again this season in the name of Jesus Christ. But you see, it takes us being spiritually on key to have encounters with God. Being spiritually sensitive. Being spiritually alert for encounters to be with God. God is spirit. And everyone that must encounter him must be in the spirit. We're told in Exodus chapter 19 verse 10 and 11, God decided to visit the children of Israel. And he said to them, Go to Moses, go tell them, wash your clothes today and tomorrow because on the third day, I am visiting. We need to be spiritually sensitive to clean off those things that will anger God when he comes. To clean off those things that will ward us off from God, that will not make God to look at our side when he comes. We need to be sensitive. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 and 3. He said, I will stand upon my watch and will see what God will say to me. And God will say, write the vision. We must be very watchful on the altar of prayer. We must be very watchful. In the way we do things, in our watching, see where God, we must be very, very sensitive. Because it is spiritually on key that brings an encounter with God. And I trust that the God of heaven will cause each of us to have such encounters in the name of Jesus Christ. Please know that every genuine encounter with God is instructional. Every genuine encounter with God is instructional. In Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 to 18, we saw how God visited Noah. God was about clearing of mankind because of the sin of man. But the Bible says Noah found grace with God. There was wickedness on the earth, but God decided to clear off. But they found grace with God, and so God gave Noah the instruction to build an ark. He told him the dimensions. So every encounter with God is instructional. He tells you what to do, what you must do for things to go forward. When we desire an encounter with God, we must also be ready to get instructions from him. Encounter is not just a play fair. It's an instruction. Do this and things will turn around. Also, every encounter with God is with precision. It's definite. 
encounters with God are with precision. We saw how God encountered Peter in Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. After a frustrating night of trying to catch fish, he caught nothing. And Jesus used his boat. Thereafter, Jesus said, launch into the deep for a drop. And what we call boat sinking, net breaking fish catch today is by an encounter. It is precision. We also saw the same Peter in John chapter 21, verse 5 to 10. Jesus had gone and come back. And Peter was in the boat catching fish. And the Bible said, all night they caught not. And Jesus asked, children, have you any meat? He said, no. He said, now cast your net on the right side of the ship. Precision. And he cast his net on the right side. The Bible says he caught fishes. And so when he got to the shore where Jesus was waiting, Jesus asked him in verse 10, bring of the fish that you now caught. So his precision on the right side. Encounters are not probabilities. They are exact. God will tell you exactly. It's a precise thing God will tell us. So be expecting such encounter on precision, whatever desires you have. Also, don't forget, every encounter with God builds the faith of God into man. Every encounter with God builds the faith of God into man. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 4, God appeared to Abraham and told him, I will make you great and make you mighty upon the earth. The whole nation shall be blessed by you. And by that word, the faith of Abraham grew and he went. A 75 year old man left his father's house not knowing where to, he was going to, but he believed God. And God again appeared to him in Genesis chapter 17, verse 1 to 4. And in verse 4, precisely, the Bible said, God told him, Thou shalt be a father of many nations. So the faith of Abraham grew. And so we now saw in Romans chapter 4, verse 17 to 20, what God was telling, told Abraham in Genesis 17, verse 4, is what was reiterated in Romans chapter 4. God has told him, as it is written, thou shalt become a father of many nations. Referring to what was said in Genesis chapter 17. And so that faith made him strong. And he, the Bible said he did not stagger through unbelief, was strong in faith, believing God. And truly, what he believed came to pass. Encounter with God builds the kind of God's faith into man. Not the faith that is for a while and quenches. No, it builds God's kind of faith into man. And I trust that will be our encounter in the name of Jesus Christ. As we zero in this morning, every genuine encounter with God opens new chapters to the life of a believer. Every genuine encounter with God opens new chapters. The believer's life is ordained like a book with chapters. And every such encounter gives us a new chapter. And each new chapter is expected to be brighter than the previous. Proverbs 4, 18, but the part of the just is at the shining light that shines more and more unto a perfect day. On Wednesday, our resident pastor told us that encounters with God is what brings us or grants us access to the path of life. There are many paths, but there's the path of life which encounters with God takes us in there. And that's what he told us on Wednesday. So it takes us into new chapters, things turning around. We saw in 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 21, and the Lord appeared again to Samuel at Shiloh by his word. Again, he has appeared before, and it was a time for a new chapter in the life of Samuel to be opened. God appeared. God will appear to somebody again. We are told again and again that in these 40 days, expect diverse encounters, depending on your desires. God is said to appear again and again. And any time God appears, one is for better understanding of who God is. Such encounters. Also, is to enhance our relationship with him. And totally, our encounter is better the progress of every believer. The progress in our life. So every such encounter, again and again, gives us an encounter that changes our story. Also, don't forget, encounter with God first, Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, we all with open face, beholding as in the glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image. So what you see is what you become by the word of God. You see the beauty of God in the word of God, it becomes your portion because the encounter with, which is done by the spirit of God in the word, it comes upon our life. So what you see, 1 Corinthians 3, 18, is what you become. As I become it is by the help of the Holy Ghost, which we call an encounter. Praise the Lord. Also this morning, don't forget, one encounter with God brought Gideon to limelight. Gideon to limelight. In Judges chapter 6, verse 11 to verse 16, we're told about the story of Gideon. Gideon was in his father's farm, his father Joash, harvesting wheat, and an angel of the Lord appeared to him. And in verse 14, Judges chapter 6, verse 14, the Bible says, And the Lord looked upon him and said, 
Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have, I not, have not I sent thee? Now, when God appeared to Gideon, he was fearful. He quickly went to his, farm, his father's farm to gather what they wait before the oppressive Midianite come to oppress them. And so he was, but God came there and had an encounter with that. That made Gideon a man of valor. By that word alone, the power in the world entered into Gideon. It turned Gideon into another man. To the extent that in verse 28, sorry, in verse 14, Gideon, and in verse 16, God gave Gideon the assurance that I will be with you. Judges 6, 16. And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee, and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. With that encounter, Gideon went forth. He met him, a shaky man, a fearful man. But by the time God visited him, things turned around. An encounter with God changed his story. And we now saw that in Judges chapter 28, chapter 8 and verse 22, Gideon had subdued all Midian. And the Bible said they had rest for 40 years in the season of Gideon. God is too faithful to fail us. We also saw an encounter that Paul had with God on the road to Damascus. That encounter with, of Paul with God subdued all forms of his earthly authority and physical strength. And the Bible says in verse 4 of Acts chapter 9, the Bible says Paul fell to the ground. And Jesus began to give him instruction on what to do. After that, the whole story of Paul turned around. And we saw five chapters after Acts chapter 14, Paul became a generational blessing to the extent that at Lystra, the Bible says he saw somebody who was impotent and he took him up and the man stood up. And by that encounter with God, by five chapters after that, Paul became a, a God amongst men. And thereafter, five chapters again, Acts chapter 19, Paul was brought to the same class with Jesus Christ when the evil spirit that was tormenting the uh, seven sons of Sceva, he said, Jesus I know, Paul I know. But don't forget, every encounter requires responsibility from each of us. And I trust that the hand of God will do us well. As we close this morning, the altar of sacrifice is what facilitates encounters with God. The altar of sacrifice. And sacrifice is a form of love. Love is what triggers sacrifice. This morning, as we stand with God on this altar, things will begin to turn around. This season, we are looking at kingdom care covenant. That's another altar of sacrifice that we can all plug into. And you, talk, you know what happened? Things will turn around. And I trust that as we clog into this altar of sacrifice, every one of us will have an encounter of a lifetime. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's be on our feet this morning as we lift up our voice and ask God for grace. Lord, grace, give me grace to maximize this season for my desired encounter. Lift up your voice and pray to God. Grace to maximize this season for my desired encounter. Lord, grace to maximize this season for my desired encounters. Grant it to me this morning in the name of Jesus. Grant it to me this morning in the name of Jesus. Grant it to me this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. For each one of us, this season will be indeed a season of encounters. The kind of encounter that turned the man Gideon from a weakling to a warrior. That kind of encounter will come your way and my way. The kind of encounter that turned Paul, the apostle, from a nuisance to a generational celebrity. That kind of encounter will come your way and my way. Story rewriting encounters will come our way in the name of Jesus. Somebody believe, say louder, amen. amen. Therefore, the responsibility is ours to be rightly positioned. Pressing after the matters of the kingdom, making the matters of God priority in our hearts, ensuring that we are giving our all. Sacrifice is not about what you have particularly, but who you are giving yourself totally. When you are totally given to God, every other thing is given to him. As each one of us engage sacrificially in this season, I see God.
turning our story out supernaturally. Somebody believe, say a loud amen. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Sundays are encounter with destiny service. For that word from God, give Jesus a big hand of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sundays are encounter with destiny service. Stretch your hand forward right now and let's declare the breath of the Spirit of God upon our flyers. Every flyer that is going out, every one of these materials must return with a mighty harvest in the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of these materials returns with a mighty harvest in the name of Jesus. They are going as paper missionaries, returning with an unusual harvest. Father, thank you for it. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Lord Jesus, we send these materials forth. and We declare that as they go forth, they are returning with a mighty harvest. We thank you, Father, for doing it. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Speak to your day right now and make your declarations concerning the day. You shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. Therefore, begin to make your decrees and do it in faith this morning. Make your decrees and do it in faith this morning. Ensure that you are engaging in faith. 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 You are commanding the happenings. The day is commanded to be blessed. The day is commanded to be a day of testimonies, a day of encounters. It's the last working day of this week. Things are commanded to walk to perfection. In the name of Jesus, no distraction, no disruption. Supernatural results. It's a fruitful day. In my engagement, unusual results, unusual harvest. In the name of Jesus Christ, on the harvest field, no rejection. Speedy acceptance, supernatural results in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. As you have declared this morning, so is it done unto you. The day is commanded to be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In Jesus' precious name. You believe God, say loud, amen. It is done. In Jesus' precious name. Let's share the goodness together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Congratulate somebody as you go and be blessed as you do so.